God bless all those who uh, catch this video, uh, especially you, Marcus. This video is intended for you, pertaining to tongues. Uh, I was at your live earlier today, and we had disagreement on tongues, which I'm not shocked. Uh, but this video, I hit a bash, man. I hit to do that. It's not my stilo. It's not how I get down. But I'm here to correct you on what you believe tongues is because uh, it's been going on for too long, and other people have said it. And um, I don't know, man. Hopefully this gets gets through your noggin, right? Um, but the, first off, I want to say, bro, uh, let's not get it twisted, man. This isn't like I just came when I, I just came into hermeneutics. I came into theology and, and exegesis, right? I just didn't come into this when I got <clears throat> saved. I came into it five or six. I came into it, you know, after attending a church that was non-denominational. Uh, for about six or seven years i was in that for about six seven years so it came down to the speaking in tongues uh laying hands on people falling out slain in the spirit drunk in the spirit matter of fact marcus uh, i was a catcher so people lay their hands and they when they blow and put their hands on their chest and fall out i caught these people and i did this on a daily basis i did this uh every sunday and whenever service we had during the weekday guess what i was there doing it faithfully catching people Yes. So much of what you believe in now, I was participating in that. All right. Especially when it came down to tongues. For example, <clears throat> Sound like tongues, don't it? If I walked into your church, Marcus, and you did not know me, you, you didn't. I was just some guy from Florida and you didn't know I had a YouTube when I wasn't I was never correcting you. And I just showed up into your church just to speak those type of tongues. You would think I'd be speaking it because that's what you believe tongues are. All right. So uh, let's hit Acts. I want to hit Acts, man. And we're going to talk about what these tongues were in the book of Acts on the day of Pentecost, because that's something you don't agree with. When I said uh, pertain to two languages on your live that uh, these languages that these men spoke and you disagreed, all right? So let's go to scripture. <clears throat> At that time, <clears throat> excuse me, this is uh, Acts 2, we have verse 5, right? At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. I said this on the live, Marcus. When they heard the loud noise, everyone came running and they were bewildered to hear their own languages being spoken by the believers, right? Remember, Jews, devout Jews, from all over coming, right, to celebrate the day of Pentecost. They were completely amazed. How can this be, they exclaimed. These people are all from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native, native Marcus, native Marcus, native languages. Here we are, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and province of Asia, Phrygia, uh, Pamphylia, Egypt, and areas of Libya around Cyrene. Visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. And we all hear these people speaking our own languages about the wonderful things God has done. <clears throat> they heard these men speaking these different native tongues or native languages about the wonderful things God has done. So guess what? The tongues that they were speaking wasn't meant for them to understand, Marcus. It was for the listeners to understand. The listeners were the interpreters and they heard about the wonderful things of God in their own native languages. So as I have put on here, part of it pertains to the book of Acts on your live, you rejected it. So now I'm correcting you with scripture. So um, let us... Uh, let us hit some commentary. Let's let's get some more breakdown, all right? Christianity is not limited to any race or group of people. Christ offers salvation to all people without regard to nationality. Visitors in Jerusalem were surprised to hear the apostles and other believers speaking in languages other than their own, but they uh but they need uh not have been. God works all kinds of miracles to spread the good news using many languages as he calls all kinds of people to become his followers. No matter what race, color, nationality, or language God speaks to you, are you listening? Right? This is an application Bible, by the way. Right? So, let me talk about tongues. These tongues right here, 
were used to break that language barrier to spread the good news of the gospel. All right, so that would uh, also go back to Cornelius. And I, I would actually like for you to uh, do that research yourself, right? Because I don't want this video to be long. Go back to when Cornelius was speaking in tongues. And what did the and what did these what did the Jews say? They said these Gentiles speak, and I'm speaking not verbatim, but this is paraphrasing. These Jews are actually um, speaking. I mean, these Gentiles are speaking the same language as us on the day of Pentecost. And matter of fact, when I find that scripture, because I can't, I don't have it right now, because this is a chron chronological Bible, so everything is not in exactly the order you would want it to be. But I will find that scripture, and I'll also post it in the comment section. But uh, Cornelius was actually speaking the same tongues, right? Cornelius was a Gentile, was speaking the same tongues that we see here in the book of Acts. We weren't speaking some Ikorobaba, no. He was actually speaking a language, a native language, an actual tongue that is not meant for him to interpret but for the person who's listening. Okay, so uh, I'm at the six minute mark, man. Like I said, it isn't, isn't, this isn't... Uh, this this ain't gonna be a long video. I'm just here to give you scripture, bro, and correct you. So don't don't get it wrong. Like I'm prideful. I'm arrogant. I'm a Pharisee because I'm um, correcting you on scripture, bro. When you when you read stuff like this pertaining to tongues, you can't leave this out, bro. You call yourself a pastor, dog. You're a pastor, bro, but you're disregarding everything they just said all the all the, the the languages the native languages that these men spoke on the day of pentecost and you completely just reject it you don't care to look at it even on your live not nah, serious that is bro so <clears throat> i hope you receive it you probably won't you probably won't but i hope you receive it man that this is what actual biblical tongues are and also I wanted to say is that when you look at the book of Acts, <clears throat> it's a summary, dude. It's a summary. Like I said in your live, it's descriptive, but it's not prescriptive. So what many of you are doing, especially in the churches, you're taking what happened in the book of Acts as a descriptive and you're trying to reenact what happened on that day. But you can't reenact something that's descriptive. You get what I'm saying? You cannot reenact that. That that was for a specific time. It's for a specific moment pertaining to when the Holy Spirit finally came. Now we know that those who receive, those who want to receive the Holy Spirit, we believe and we have faith. We believe and we have faith on the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are saved by grace through faith, not of works that any man should boast. So those who truly put their faith, as you reject that faith isn't enough, when the Bible says that that we're saved by grace through faith, that even the faith that we have isn't even ours because God gives us a measure of faith according to each individual. The faith we have is a is a gift from God by his mercy. So the fact you reject that faith isn't enough is even a problem within itself, All right? But those who want to get saved, we put our faith and we believe on the finished work of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and that's how you receive the Holy Spirit. But look at these scriptures, man. Like I said, I'll post the other scripture about Cornelius in the comments, man. I don't expect you to respond. But those who do see this video, I hope this blesses you. hope it edifies you. And I hope it gives you understanding and clarity pertaining to what happened in the book of Acts and what scriptural tongues actually are, man. So I love y'all, man. God bless.